Welcome back to Trending Global. Uh, we're going to talk about an interesting topic and also a very sad one. So there's this drug that is making young people in an amazing country that according to World Bank um, report released in end of 2021, it has the youngest population, younger than Kenya, and it is called Sierra Leone. So in Sierra Leone, the young people are addicted to a drink called, to a drug called Kush. So Kush is a mixture of synthetic fiber materials like fentanyl, name them all. But the latest discovery will shock you. The latest discovery shows that the bones of dead people is added as a flavor to the drug. Like, this is so much sad. How will you make a drug that you go and take the cup and take the bone and crush it and put in it? Like, to be honest, I feel like this is just a foreign idea to make our, the young people in Sierra Leone become you know, get into virtual reality in a world of zombies because in African culture, it's against our culture to unearth a dead person. Any African person will never think of unearthing a dead person unless it is a forensic science that is going to be done and it's done by the police, the forensic police department. Not individual getting the dead people to get bones out of it and, and crush it and make their, um, a drug to make them get high. So Kush has really destroyed so many potential young individuals who are supposed to go to universities and colleges and become doctors and become engineers and become politicians and become managers. But they are living on streets because this thing is very addictive that you, if you start using it, you won't remember going back home. You won't remember being a hardworking person. All you remember is getting to collect some things from the rubbish, then go sell it, get that shilling and go buy it and get to the world of zombies again. So it is very sad because as, as I said earlier, Sierra Leone is full of minerals. It has graphite in it. It has gold in it. It has so many other minerals which are very valuable in this 21st century. So my view, I feel like there's some people who are using this drug to keep the young people away from reality or fighting for their rights or fighting for the minerals to benefit them and their community so that they keep on exploiting them because we all know when someone is addicted to drugs, they can't think through, they can't fight back, they can't stand for what is right in their own, for their own and their society. So I have a feeling that this drug is highly influenced by foreigners who are coming to, in, to take advantage of the mining site in that country and agriculture and less the local languishing poverty and addiction of drugs. So we are calling upon the World Health Organization to take action to go there and, and rehabilitate this young individual and get them back and go to the root of this problem. The government of Sierra Leone should get to the root of who started this. Because unlearned people or young people cannot just wake up and start going to the graveyard side and saying, you know what, the human body is full of sulfite that we can add into this drug. It must be someone who has been planning to come up with this mixture of drug to overcome cocaine and heroin. And it cannot be someone from the local. Because when you listen to their stories, even the locals say, we buy this drug, we go send to this before, we don't know how it is made, we just get the end product. So it is so crazy and it is so heartbroken in that people could go to that extent of destroying population of young people so that that country will never have black people who come out as multi-billionaires, who've come out as the best engineer, the best medic. They're just all getting into this drug addiction of zombies, of kush, and becoming useless individuals and forgetting about their dreams and their family and the rights of their community and protection of the world. Thank you very much.